Discovery's range now 109 miles. Its speed 2,476 miles. Its altitude 19 miles. A little more than seven and a half minutes to touchdown. Discovery, you can take air data. Taking air data. Our first views of Space Shuttle Discovery as it bears down on the Kennedy Space Center. The two air data probes on the left and right side of Discovery's nose have been deployed. They are measuring the speed of the wind around the vehicle and updating the airspeed and rate of descent to the onboard computers. Discovery now six minutes, 45 seconds to touchdown. It's speed 1,800 miles an hour. It's altitude 59, excuse me, 15 miles. Range 72 miles. Discovery now dropping 212 feet per second. Discovery, you are on energy approach in the hack. Uh, latest winds now 17 peak 25 out of 150, so it's straight down the runway. We ran the uh, energy numbers uh, with the higher peak wind that we gave you earlier, which was the 18 peak 28, still getting you 2,200 feet down. So we'll call it the 2,100 at 195. Okay, copy that. And if I didn't mention it, still nominal shoot. Capcom Charlie Hoba updating the crew on the winds and the weather. This is a view from the heads up display looking out pilot Eric Bowe's window. Discovery now five minutes from touchdown. It is traveling 850 miles an hour. It's altitude 11 miles. Range to touchdown 35 miles. Discovery continuing to drop 286 feet per second. Its wings are now level. Now traveling 654 miles an hour. I'm about to go subsonic. It's altitude nine miles, range 27 miles. Four minutes to touchdown. Discovery now approaching the heading alignment circle. This is an imaginary circle created by the microwave landing system. It sits off the end of the runway and is about seven miles in diameter. Commander Steve Lindsay will take over the flight of the shuttle around this circle, which will set it up for final approach. Sonic booms now heard at the Kennedy Space Center announcing Discovery's arrival. Three and a half minutes to touchdown. Discovery beginning this left-hand turn around this heading alignment circle. This will be a 252-degree left-hand turn. Pilot Eric Boa has taken over control of the flight at this point. Discovery traveling 500 miles an hour. It's altitude 5 miles. Discovery, we see you on at the 180. 
Discovery crossing out over the Atlantic, then back over the eastern edge of Florida. Commander Steve Lindsay back in control of Discovery for the remainder of this heading alignment circle. Two minutes, 30 seconds to touchdown. Discovery traveling 440 miles an hour, it's altitude four miles. Discovery, you are on at the 90. On at the 90. Two minutes to touchdown, Discovery traveling 400 miles an hour. Discovery beginning to line up with runway 15. This is the northwest to southeast approach at the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times higher and the glide slope is seven times steeper than a commercial airliner. Discovery speed 400 miles an hour, it's altitude two miles, continuing to line up with the runway there at KSE. We agree you are on and on and we have good hot video. Very good. The heads up display will allow Commander Steve Lindsay to line up Discovery's nose with the runway. You will see two arrows approach from the bottom. You will continue to lift the nose of the shuttle up. Discovery speed 370 miles an hour. This is Space Shuttle Discovery's final minutes of flight. Space Shuttle Discovery now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. Just more than 30 seconds to go. down and locked. Main gear touchdown. The nose of the shuttle being rotated down toward the flight deck. The parachute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown in the end of a historic journey and to the ship that has led the way time and time again, we say farewell, Discovery. Houston, uh, Pinto, great job by you and your crew. That was a great landing in tough conditions, and it was an awesome dock mission that you all had. You were able to take Discovery up to a full 365 degree, or 365 days of actual time on orbit. I think that you'd call that a fleet leader and a leader of any manned vehicle for time in orbit. So job well done. We'll meet you in the post-landing tab for post-landing currently no deltas. And copy that, Scorch, we're headed to 5-3, and I'd like to thank you and your team and all the orbit teams for a fantastic mission, as well as the Expedition 26 team on orbit. And I'd also like to thank KSC, who has given us a perfect vehicle from start to finish on her final flight. Well said on all, and we totally agree. Thanks, panel.